Six tips for hosting a successful and engaging virtual event in the UK. Since COVID-19 isn't going away anytime soon, the world is going to rely on virtual events for a little longer than we anticipated. Trying to engage with people online can be difficult, but with the right tips and tricks, anyone can host a successful and engaging virtual event in the UK. Hey everyone, and welcome to Rate Us Online. Rate Us Online is a business directory and review platform. So if you have a business, get your free business listing today on our website, www.rateusonline.com. In this video, we're going to give you a roundup of six tips for hosting a successful and engaging virtual event in the UK. Let's begin. One, select the perfect time. Even though selecting the right time may not seem that important, it really is the most important thing that you can do to ensure that your event goes perfectly. Before you schedule a virtual event in the UK, you need to make sure that there aren't any holidays or other events clashing with yours. And if you're planning on having a global audience, you need to take time zones into consideration as well, so none of the, your followers miss out on the event. You can even check the analytics to see when your targeted community in the UK is typically online. And if you want to be absolutely sure, you can even put out polls of preferred dates and times so people can decide what's convenient for them. Two, make your event inclusive. Making your virtual event inclusive is one of the most important things you can do to ensure it's a success. A way to do this is to use clear language, large fonts and high colour contrast in all presentations. If you're showing a video or a movie, make sure it has subtitles. You can use sites like vfairs.com because they include page narrations and allow text character sizes to be adjusted. It is important to have an event open and accessible to all kinds of people. You can include a diverse range of voices in your panels from different genders, races and ethnicities. This way, you'll be tapping into a larger audience as well. 3. Call some special guests. Virtual events are pretty common now in the UK. People attend them every day and are quite unfazed by them at this point. This is why you need to make your event extremely eye-catching so that you can tap into a larger audience. For this, you can call some special guests to your event. This could be a celebrity, a noteworthy speaker, or even someone who presents an opportunity to network. If you present an incentive to the consumers, they're going to definitely attend your session. It's really important to market your guest speaker correctly. According to Adobe, registrations for virtual events increase around two to three weeks before the event happens. This is an excellent time to market the guest speaker. Four, pick the correct platform. So many online platforms are now being used to host a range of virtual events in the UK. You need to pick the correct platform according to your event if you want it to be a success. If you're having a webinar or calling a guest speaker for an interactive session, Zoom might be a good platform option for you. But if you want to live stream a short film or have less interactive session, you can choose Vimeo for that. Vimeo is also password protected, so by choosing it, you can ensure that only registered guests are logging into your event. There are many other platform options that you can choose from if these two do not work out for you. Five, prepare for tech troubles. Virtual events are often riddled with tech troubles. This can really dampen the mood and ruin your event. This is why it's important to prepare for all such situations. Remember to test your internet connection and speakers before the event starts. Even if all seems fine, remember to keep a backup of visuals and presentations in case your file doesn't work. You can even have a backup moderator in case the main one is experiencing tech troubles. Also, it's important to keep in mind that not all of your guests are going to be tech savvy, so you need to set up some guidelines that they can follow in case they have problems at their end. Six, promote the event. Marketing online events is extremely different from marketing an in-person event. Data from Eventbrite has shown that boosting marketing a week before the event starts increased paid tickets by 47%, more than starting marketing a month early. Sounds surprising, doesn't it? People usually think that marketing early will get them more attendees and ticket sales. To have the perfect virtual event in the UK, 
you need to engage with your target audience on popular social media platforms. These include Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp and Snapchat. Relatable, colourful and engaging marketing will increase your chances of having a more successful event. Which of these suggestions did you find the most helpful? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you.